For this problem, we're going to solve the following system of equations. We're going to use the process of elimination by adding the two equations so that we get 5x squared plus 40x plus 84 equals 9. To solve for x, we want to get the right side equal to 0. So we're going to subtract 9 from both sides so that we get 5x squared plus 40x plus 75 equals 0. To make this easier, we're going to divide both sides by 5 so that we have x squared plus 8x plus 15 equals 0. Now we can factor the left side to be x plus 3 times x plus 5, which is equal to 0. Now we can see that x is equal to negative 3 or negative 5. Now we're going to plug the x values into one of the equations to solve for y. For x equals negative 3, we get y equals 0. And for x equals negative 5, we get y equals 4 or negative 4. Now that we have our x and y values, we can see that the intersecting points are at negative 3, 0, negative 5, 4, and negative 5, negative 4. And this is the solution to the problem. We can also graph the two equations and the solution points. The standard form for the first equation is x squared over 3 squared minus y squared over 3 squared equals 1. This hyperbola has a center at 0, 0 with a and b both equal to 3 and it will open up to the left and to the right. Using this, we'll get a graph that looks like this. The standard form for the second equation is x plus 5 squared over 2 squared plus y squared over 4 squared equals 1. This ellipse has a center at negative 5, 0 with a horizontal minor axis of 2 and a vertical major axis of 4. Using this, we'll get a graph that looks like this. Now we can see our solution points at negative 3, 0, negative 5, 4, and negative 5, negative 4. And this completes the problem.